Dear colleagues, nowadays the status of hybrid luminescent structures with coupled states between light and matter are among the most promising areas in view of observing the effects of increasing distance for resonant energy transfer, formation of polarity and condensates, coherence, spontaneous emission, and many other effects. The hybrid luminescent systems based on porous silicon microcavities and lead sulfate quantum dots operating in the near infrared range present the promising structures for realization of some of these extremely interesting effects. Moreover, an increase in the coupling strength in such structures makes it possible to realize these effects even in one-dimensional microcavities at room temperature. Thereby, one-dimensional porous silicon microcavities, due to their relatively low mode volume, are interesting for creating such hybrid luminescent structures with controlled emission properties. So this was the aim of the study, to create such structures on the basis of lead sulfate quantum dots and porous silicon microcavities. The first component of the hybrid structure, porous silicon microcavity, was manufactured by electrochemical etching of monocrystalline silicon in a water-alcohol solution of hydrofluoric acid. During etching, uh, the etching current and, as a consequence, the porosity and refractive index were changed periodically. Hence, uh, the microcavity structure is a set of layers with top and bottom distributed black reflectors and a cavity between them. There is an image of a microcavity cross-section on the slide made by scanning electron microscope. To find the optimal parameters of porous silicon microcavity, in addition to data on the silicon porosity, the transfer matrix method was used for calculations. In our case, when the refractive index changes in only one direction and the structure is a set of layers, this method allows to analytically solve Maxwell's equations and simulate the spectral properties of the microcavity. The calculated spectra were in a good agreement with the experimental ones. The second component of the hybrid structure, quantum dots in the base of lead sulfide, were fabricated by colloidal synthesis according to the reaction scheme on the slide. This method allows to control the size of nanoparticles and, as a consequence, the spectral position of the photoluminescence maximum in the infrared range. The previously mentioned porous silicon microcavities were fabricated in three steps. First of all, etching of monocrystalline substrate, and then exfoliating from this substrate, and finally, thermal oxidation. The manufacturing parameters were selected in such a way that the samples preserve the morphology of the structure and their integrity as much as possible. The exfoliated freestanding sample is a thin film, no more than 15 microns thick the surface of which, after thermal oxidation, becomes slightly uneven and bumpy due to the internal mechanical stresses because of the growth of an oxide layer on the silicon pore walls. When comparing the reflection spectra of microcavities, we observe a blue wavelength shift of about 100 nanometers after exfoliation from the substrate and after thermal oxidation. This is due to the change in the effective refractive index because of the growth of the oxide layer and due to a shift in the condition of the quarter wave layers. But in general, the optical characteristics of microcavities before and after exploration from substrate and oxidation are well preserved. In particular, the full width at half maximum of the eigenmode and the photonic band gap, as well as secondary peaks in the reflection spectrum. This indicates the absence of critical changes in the morphology of the samples. On the basis of the described microcavities and lead sulfate quantum dots, hybrid luminescent structures in the infrared range were fabricated. The embedment was carried out by dropping quantum dot solution onto porous silicon surface. We have selected the parameters of microcavities in such a way that the icon mode interacted most efficiently with the accident transitions of quantum dots so that the regime of weak coupling between light and matter was established. The straightforward indication of realization of such a regime is the narrowing of the luminescence spectrum of embedded quantum dots. 
This is due to the personal effect that is an increase in the rate of spontaneous emission in the cavity and hence an increase in the intensity of luminescence at the eigenmode wavelength together with suppression at adjacent wavelength. We observed during experiments a narrowing of the spectrum up to five times depending on the parameters of the oxidized microcavity. Also, by means of confocal microscopy, we found out that in order to achieve a weak coupling regime between light and matter, a low concentration of quantum dots is required. Otherwise, at a relatively high concentration, a quantum dot film is formed on the porous silicon surface, the luminescence intensity of which is orders of magnitude higher than the luminescence intensity of quantum dots effectively embedded into porous silicon. In conclusion, we have fabricated three standing porous silicon microcavities in the near infrared fringe. As a result of exfoliating from the substrate, the sample reflection spectrum demonstrated a blue wavelength shift of about 100 nanometers. Three standing samples were thermally oxidized in order to reduce the number of recombination channels for the excitation of embedded quantum dots. After oxidation, a blue wavelength shift of 100 nm was also observed. In general, the optical characteristics after exfoliation and oxidation, as well as the sample morphology, were preserved. After that, lead sulfate quantum dots were embedded into the oxidized microcavities. Inhibit structure and narrowing of the luminescence spectrum up to five times is observed in comparison with the luminescence spectrum of quantum dots in solution, which indicates the realization of the weak coupling regime between the microcavity eigenmode and accident transitions in quantum dots. In our future work, we are planning to create transfer printed microcavities using the technique of exfoliating porous silicon from the substrate. In this case, instead of etching the entire structure on one substrate, it is suggested to etch the bottom brick mirror and the cavity on the first substrate, then place quantum dots directly into the cavity, and finally cover this structure with the top brick mirror, which was etched and exfoliated from the other substrate. This method allows to precisely control quantum dot distribution and increase their localization in the microcavity structure, which can potentially increase the coupling strength between light and matter. Similar structures in the visible range have already been fabricated by our group, and they have showed excellent luminescence enhancing properties. This study was supported by the Russian Foundation for Basic Research through Laboratory of Nanobioengineering at the Moscow Engineering Physics Institute in Russia. Also, the help of Dr. Dmitry Dovzhenko, actually a researcher at the University of Southampton in Great Britain, is kindly appreciated. Thank you for your attention.